narrowing a research topic. Remember the upside down triangle. In this tutorial, you will be guided through the steps of narrowing down your research topic. You will be given a number of questions to think about, keeping in mind your current broad topic. You will be walked through an example that demonstrates these steps in action, then asked to follow these steps to do the same yourself. These are the lenses that we will use to narrow your topic. We'll start with a broad topic, add the lens of people, place, time period, point of view, then put all that together to create a question. Take a look at the two pyramids to the right and notice how they both begin with the same subject, healthcare, but yield two very different research topics. You can imagine that two different students began with the same broad subject area, then narrowed them down based on their own particular interests. The broad subject of healthcare was narrowed when the students answered a few simple questions. You will now be walked through an example. Keep in mind your own subject and how you might want to narrow it. As you go through and answer these series of questions, remember that they may not always apply to your particular area. Thus, you do not have to answer all the questions in order to successfully narrow your topic. Also, keep in mind that there are endless possibilities for the, re for the resulting research topic. Question 1. Choose a group. Is there a particular group of people you want to focus on? Most often the answer to this question is people. However, people is too broad as it includes everyone in the entire world. You may want to focus on just women or just infants or just male police officers. Choosing a particular group of people to focus on will allow you to narrow your topic and research. Below are some examples of different groups you could choose from. Young Democrats. Muslim women, librarians, female college students, elementary school students. Let's add Spanish speakers to our healthcare subject. Question two, choose a place. Is there a particular place you want to focus on? A place can be a geographical place, a workplace, or a situational place. Topics can look very different in different parts of the world. Think about how different healthcare issues are in Europe compared with Sub-Saharan Africa. Choose a place. Below is a list of different places you could choose from. Remember the choices are really endless. California, Tucson, University of Arizona, affluent neighborhoods, developing uh, countries, hospitals, Cairo, Egypt. Let's add the Southwest to our list. Question three, choose a time. Is there a particular time period you want to focus on? Since the beginning of time is a very long time, so it's a good idea to choose a particular time period to focus on. Often, you will probably choose the present time to focus on. However, you may want to focus on the time of a historical event or uh, during two different decades. Below are some examples of time you could choose from. Since the invention of the web, during the Clinton years, today, in 25 years, in the 1970s. Let's add today to our list. Question four, choose a point of view. Is there a particular point of view from which you would like to approach this topic? There are many different ways you can approach a topic. You may want to investigate it from an economic, political, or ethical viewpoint. For example, if you're researching education, you may wish to look at a particular public school law, or you could choose to look at how economic status plays a role in student achievement. It is important to think about how you would like to approach a topic, and it will help you to focus your research. Remember to pick a point of view that truly interests you. You may wish to pick a number of viewpoints. For example, 
You could look at both uh, financial and ethical aspects of corporate sponsorship of political candidates. Continuing with our example, below are some examples of points of view you may want to consider. Legal, psychological, political, religious, scientific, or historical. Let's add legal to our list. And let's put this all together. Take a look at our completed pyramid. You can see that we now have four aspects of healthcare defined. Combined, these can inspire a clear, solid research topic. Sometimes it will take a little playing around to form a good question. From this pyramid, we can come up with the following research question. How have recent changes in laws affected Spanish speakers' access to health care in the southwestern U.S. Written out as a topic, we could say, recent changes in laws and their effect on Spanish speakers' access to health care in the southwestern U.S. This is a good, clearly defined, appropriately narrow topic for an undergraduate research paper of about five to seven pages. Time for you to try. Take the time now to answer the series of questions as listed in this tutorial. If you like, draw a pyramid and fill it out line by line as you go. This will help you to narrow your broad subject area into a clear topic that is interesting to you and is appropriate for your research assignment. As always, if you need additional help forming an appropriately focused topic, please feel free to reach out to the SI librarians and we can help walk you through that. You can do that via email, and we can also set up a Zoom conference to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for watching.